Abuse is not love. And abuse is a big problem in Bear County. Since 2015, domestic violence cases have nearly doubled in our county. In our series, Loving in Fear, we've tried to shine a spotlight on family violence in our area. And now Bear County leaders are working together to slow down what is clearly a public health crisis. The night team's John Paul Barajas says that our region could get more funding and resources to prosecute the abuser and also help the victim. Family violence cases in Bear County has consistently increased since 2015, nearly doubling the numbers that we saw six years ago. The county now unveiling their plan to slow cases, which boils down to needing more funds for personnel and resources. We have over 2,500 individuals identified as high-risk domestic violence victims. One coordinator is simply not enough. Director of the Family Justice Center, Crystal Chandler, explains their team members are overwhelmed, and they're not the only ones. Traditionally, Bear County he had two judges assigned to domestic violence. It's now been increased to eight, but it's still not enough. Judge John Longoria adding that Bear County prosecutors handle nearly double that of other surrounding counties. We're continuing to administer the cases, share the cases, and address the problem. But ultimately, there is a great need for resources. The plans include overviews of current caseloads, services to assist victims, and advanced ways to monitor high-risk abusers. The Family Justice Center is asking for $327,000 to add personnel to their programs. District Attorney Joe Gonzalez is requesting $3.1 million to add resources to deal with the backlog in these misdemeanor cases. During the pandemic, we were not able to resolve a lot of the family violence cases that were set for trial. Uh, there was no incentive. To, to resolve these cases until now. The Family Justice Center says currently 64% of their victims are at high risk, making the request for these funds much needed. County Judge Nelson Wolf will have a special session on December 21st to hear these proposals and take action. At the County Courthouse, John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News.